with that big boss that's special It ain't no game, but they saying welcome to the second level What's up, guys, and welcome back to uh, Finding Nemo, our Let's or Play of choice right Finding now. Dorby. D Dorby. Dorby. <laughs> Dorby. <laughs> Finding Dorby. 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 Uh, what do you do? So it looks like you are... I'm you, doing the same thing I've done the last two shark? episodes. Uh, I'm following a shark. Ooh, octopus tentacles. Brilliant. So it's Bruce. We can't show the cutscene because copyright, but this is Bruce I'm following. You are tracking Bruce uh, under some caves and whatnot. Yep. And, uh, yeah. This is this, the the problem I have with this game so far because I didn't remember it being this like similar for every level is I feel like so far every level all I've done has gone through rings. Yeah, definitely rings are a big part of it, and I think like we discussed near the beginning of the game is that they do have a lot of like stuff that would be good for kids. Like visually, this is different because it's darker. You're chasing a shark. There's like weird octopus tentacles coming out of the walls and stuff. So visually, it's enough to make kids think that it's maybe hugely different. Yeah. But you are essentially just doing the same. same thing over and over. But the levels have been a little bit diverse here and there. We've had some where you're chasing towards the screen, some where you're chasing back. We've had some side-scrolling levels. And I mean, and they're also you know. tied to what the movie can do, so I don't yeah. know what you could really do. Like, how would you find Bruce as Dory? I mean, graphically, I'm quite enjoying it. Obviously, they have a little gimmick that they can play with in terms of the fact that um, they're in the ocean, so they can make field of vision kind of whatever they want, which is interesting. Um, they don't have to rely on fog like Silent Hill uh, yeah. did back in the day. They just oh, uh, I hate this part. Murky. Minefield, and I still got to go through the rings. Those so, do deeps. you have to beat? Uh, no, I just got to. Oh God, Bruce, or just keep. Oh up God, oh God. Okay, it got tricky. Is it pushing there's, you around? There's an ocean current there. There you go. The, well, I guess we have. Oh God, we haven't made it to the EAC. Oh, oh well, no! You're gonna die. No, no. Seriously, you're gonna have to hit all of these. Oh, as long as the current doesn't show up, succession. I'm good. Okay. Oh. Like I'm holding far to the right, and it just. And I feel like sometimes you're going through those circles, and it's just denying. I mean, you it's it's, it's the Xbox, so could yeah, be. Yeah, hit detection. Okay. A little the uh, exclamation point is gone. I'm there you go. Whoo! Got a little hazy, or hazy, tricky, whatever whatever the word is I was looking for there. Dory is killing it right now. So, uh, I think we talked about this a little bit in the first episode, but are you excited for Finding Dory? I will watch it. I'm not going to go to the cinema or anything crazy like that, but then again, there's not a lot that will get me off my ass and in the cinema. Yeah. But um, I would definitely watch Finding Dory. I, I enjoyed the first movie a lot. The second one looks good from the trailer so far. I'm not the biggest Dory fan, per se, but uh, you know, I think Jenner's it'll be... Well, I like Ellen DeGeneres, I just... The character is frustrating. Yeah. But, um... Oh, here you go. I just think, uh... So here's something fun. If I jump on these too many times, they explode. Yeah, I can picture so that. So I'm not going to collect all these like I was the other ones. I'm just going to try and beat it, because, like I said, this is... You can tell when the game starts getting tougher, because this one, I actually just want to beat it. Yeah. But yeah, oh, I will, shit. uh... Oh, shit. Oh, boom. There you go. <laughs> I <laughs> that's like an like an on land explosion <laughs> yeah. underwater. Um Puzzle yeah, I'll watch here. It. For sure. Are you gonna watch it? Oh yeah, of course I am. Ooh shit, shit, get out of there. Where do I go? Oh ah! Damn it. Oh that is not yeah. Where do I go? Because I went, you went left last time. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going left. Well I went right. I didn't go all the way left. And that's why. <laughs> you can only go back once. By the looks of it. I'm gonna go this way. This looks is looking promising. That's looking better. This is like the problem with this puzzle is you can't. Damn yep. it! Is you can't. Oh. You are fucked. Fuck. <laughs> you can't tell. Uh, like overhead. Can't really where, see ahead. Yeah. It's a bit of trial and error. This one. But at least you know go left, then go right. Then, yeah. Yes. And then go this way. I would go left now. Those are where I was before, and I ran into an issue. Yeah. So I gotta go right. Huh. Oh, don't know how I didn't die there. And the other problem I ran into with this is go it's a little here. it's a little finicky with uh, oh. the, like where you want to go. So like the controls aren't a hundred percent. Like when I push that direction, it doesn't always necessarily go that way. Hmm. But hey. there we go, I did it. Yeah. I don't know how you hit those hit all those. But skill and time. So yeah, if I have a, if I have a complaint for this game, I mean, like I said, I don't remember it being this repetitive, but it's very repetitive when it comes to. 
doing the same thing over and over. Yeah. But kids like it. Wait, yeah, I was gonna say wait till we get to uh when we get to the fish tank. That part's real that's a real puzzle part. What I do enjoy about Disney games is that at very least they're kind of one of the only style of movie turned game that's usually pretty good. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah, uh oh. You're donezo. Yep. So, like, you know, even on the. Did you see his eye there? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that was terrifying. Even on the original games, like Aladdin and Lion King and all those guys, like, all the Disney ones were usually pretty damn good. Yeah. What do you um, think of, so, uh, do you see Disney shut down Disney Infinity? And shut down Avalanche. That so was interesting. They're not making any more video games. They're going to license everything now going yeah, forward. Yeah. Which I, I was I was especially shocked by Infinity because I had always sort of assumed that that was doing pretty well. God, I really like. Breeze is getting yeah. Yeah, like it's so tricky to because I can't get over there. And is then there I'm, like a button you can waggle to be better? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm using A to go faster, but it, then it stops and I miss him. See? Oh. But no, so with Disney Infinity, his eyes terrifying there. Uh, with Disney Infinity, I think it's interesting because, like you said, I thought, personally I thought it was doing well. Like, yes, 3.0 didn't sell as well as the first two. But well, I think the worry with a game like that is, is, like, you can only do so many before the gimmick shows itself. Yes. Like, you're better off making more figures. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, like Skylanders puts Ooh, a lot of uh, <gasps> your, your eyes bleed. <laughs> my eye itches. Uh, your, your games like Skylander and stuff like they put a lot of focus well. on uh, <laughs> newer, um, you know, characters and stuff, mm -hmm. as opposed to continually recreating the series. And even when they did recreate the series, they usually had some kind of a spin on it that made it a little bit more exciting than just like better graphics. Yeah, you know, more levels. I, I'm see. So I'm partially excited that Disney's going to do a lot more licensing because obviously EA owns the license for Star Wars, um, which they announced Star Wars Battlefront Two, which kind of ticks me off because they haven't finished Star Wars Battlefront One yet. Yeah. It's making it harder and harder to defend that game. Like I'm a, I'm a, as you know. God oh man, you're trying damn to it. avoid them at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same damn section every time. As you know, I'm a huge Battlefront fan. I, I've since day one have been defending the game, but dear God, dang it, EA, you're making it real hard. Yeah, I kind of felt like something like that might happen, and that wasn't why I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it because, frankly, uh, after playing the beta, I was less than impressed. See, I have a lot of fun um, with it. I thought they, the. The gameplay is okay. The graphics are gorgeous. The universe, obviously, is a very Star interesting Wars. universe. But I just did not jive with, like, the gameplay in terms of uh, longevity. Like, which is I played it for 15 minutes and I dig it. But if I played it any longer than that, I wasn't gonna be into it. What the so. fuck? Oh, there's your mind. Ah, I was doing better that time too. You are. I'm gonna go in try hard mode, so I might go quiet when I hit that point. That's fine. I'll keep. But uh, I'm excited about personally uh, the new Battlefield game, Battlefield One, uh, more dude, so that thing than Battlefront. Destroyed Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean Call of Duty. I'm fucking done at this point. I've been done for a yeah. while, to be honest. But I mean, like, they have... just keep reminding me of why I was done in the first place. Like, yeah. you know, uh, we have the Battlefield couch... is always a good consistent time zone. So. Yeah, we had that couch conversation on. Uh... That kind of we did. touches on that. Yeah. On your thoughts on it. And honestly, I and mean, most people, I think, agree with me on that. Uh, judging from the comments yeah. that we had there, I think there's a lot of folks that uh, were kind of leaning with me on on not just oh. the fact that Call of Duty is a piece of shit nowadays, <gasps> but uh, just that Fuck. type of stuff in general. Oh. No! No! Oh, there you go. Oh my god, I had one more. Take a deep breath. Oh. This is your stampede, sir. This is. <laughs> this isn't even half as hard as a stampede, <laughs> but it's, it's got it's, the same it's, precision. It's trickier because the, like I said, it's the wind, and then you gotta avoid the, the, the. I don't think mines. you can call it wind since it's underwater. I think you may have current. To, uh, current is a better. That's word. the word. That's that's. It's what, what that's water it's what, wind. It's what, yeah, it's what the wind would be on land. Water wind. Like that, cool. it just it just comes out of nowhere, and there's nothing really like. I, I think you just have to like instead of trying to make every one realize you're gonna miss some and aim to hit the next one that I'm trying my, to do that, that and it's be, still but then it, like that it stops and then it throws me off like there's no rhyme or reason when it shows up I've not seen like a pattern for it which is the frustrating part because like if there's a pattern I'd be like okay 
I got this. But there doesn't seem to be a pattern. Doing it. Doing it. Don't say it. Oh! I had that. I was in that ring. Uh, Too slow, Romeo. Remember when I told you that this this game had levels? It has levels. This is this That's is true. the level. This, this is, is this is level. the first level of levels that we're gonna run into that I know. Cause we there for a while. You're like, oh, let's do two per episode, and I was like, that's not gonna happen. I'm uncertain as to how a small child would handle this. Uh, although, I mean, just I imagine it'd be similar to how you are. Yeah, just frustration and. <laughs> you are like, if I ever need to know what a small child would do about anything, then you would be my go-to guy to uh, to show me that. God, I need to take a deep breath. <sighs> Come on, guys. We got this. I need you guys to cheer him on at this point. <laughs> we got this. But no, that's, I mean, there was somebody the other day I was talking to, I can't remember who it was, it might have been David or something when we were playing Elder Scrolls, and he's like, you are such a child and I love it because you bring that, like you said it too, where you bring that perspective of just fun to video games. I mean, I don't take games seriously at all, and I don't think they should take themselves, I mean, I am careful what I say that, because yes, you should take yourself seriously, because you're making a video game, and you're, God, God, bless America. You're not allowed to talk anymore. Uh... You should take yourself seriously because you're, you're making something that somebody's going to buy and pay 60 bucks for. But, like, my favorite games are the ones that realize they're video games, essentially. They're like, yeah, we're dumb. We're going to have this experience for you. Yeah, I, I could see that. Uh, I, I'm i a little different. Like, I, I do enjoy some of the video games that are, like, just screaming to the world, I am a video game. Play me for fun. Like Ratchet and Clank and things like that. That's... that's but, um, like, oh, God. That's a, that's at the same game. time, I'm also a professor of realism. I love when video games try and make everything as realistic as possible. I fucking enjoy that way more. Because, to me, growing up with video games, like, I've already played a million and one video games that are video gamey. At this point, I'm looking for a video game that is real lifey. And, uh, you know, that is maybe so well done that you can't even distinguish it from, uh... From, God! <laughs> fuck! From real life. Uncharted, That's the ultimate goal. Uncharted's getting there. Like, I don't... Don't get me wrong, like, I like those games too, but I, I tend to go towards the games that are video game-esque. Yeah. That's why I love Mario Parties. That's why I love like the cartoon style things. It reminds me of just like reminds me of cartoons, just not taking themselves well, seriously. This is another reason why I'm so excited for VR because I don't truly think that you can have a truly 100% immersive, you know, oh my god, this is real experience unless you're doing VR. I'm super stoked um, for VR. So I'm as yeah, you know. so I'm excited for that. But then again, you know, Shit. Uh, we've had this conversation uh, before when when, uh, when Jordan was hanging out and. He had said that there's something to be said about VR where maybe maybe I want to be an anime character or maybe I want to be like actual Minecraft guy and and feel like you know in a world that is very cartoony and, yeah. and purposely so. I mean it it comes down to where VR is one of those things where it just it has to immerse you somehow some way and I think I'm more interested like not with the first person experiences I'm more interested with the like the third person experiences and how they handle those. Because how do you do a third-person VR experience? I don't think you do, to be honest. There's developers um, that are trying. Unless there is an element of you are an observer as opposed to the main character. God. Yeah, this is... Ooh. All right. You, uh, it's all on you, man. <laughs> I, I know this. Stay in the circles. That's nope. all you got to do. <laughs> do you want me to try it? Yeah, one more. I'm almost excited more. to try it. One more. Because if I do it first time, you're going to hate me. Dude, it's real tricky. You're real tricky. But yeah, like, there are ge there are developers out there that are doing third-person VR, and I'm super, super excited. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Because it's, it's a playground. I mean, honestly, nobody knows, in my opinion, what VR is and how to use it yet. I mean, we have ideas. But I think we can all agree that VR is done best in a first-person view, because that's the whole point of VR, is that I it's virtual reality. I don't want to agree to that yet, because we've not seen a third-person experience. But that's the whole thing about it, though, is it's virtual reality. You're supposed to be able to see through the eyes of your character. That's the yeah. whole reason it exists. So, when you do that with a third-person game, or like even like a sports game that's not first-person, then you know, it's it's not really designed for that. It's like it's it should oh, be shit. FP only, I think. But, you know, it's... It'll be interesting, like I said, I'm not going to rule it out. I'm not going to say, hey, I don't want to see that. I do want to see it. Um, I just don't... Oh, yeah. I did it. I went quiet there for a second. I wasn't just ignoring you. I was focusing. <laughs> 
God damn it. Yeah, follow me more. Yeah. Uh, I just don't think it's necessarily the right platform for that experience. But I might be proven wrong, and, you know, we'll you see. Know. Time will tell. You never know. But I'm super stoked for it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's sure. that's what it comes down to, is I, it's a new experience, and I think people should have the... I also love that there's a lot of time... Oh, shit. Uh, oh, you got suckered by the octopus there. <laughs> I also love that there's a lot of time... Uh, for it to be released, which means there's more time for tweaking and more time for more games to be announced. And I'm mm -hmm. specifically keeping my ear to the grindstone at E3 this year to see what uh, what comes out. That's what I'm. I'm that wise. Yeah, I'm super stoked. To yeah, see I what mean, that can is. you imagine if like Sony announces some crazy like first person experience that's going to be like PlayStation exclusive, exclusive. only, using Shit. some kind of you know main Sony character? Picture picture doing like an Uncharted style game not full like uncharted game but like uncharted style experience in vr like yeah. the climbing and what that would look like yeah i mean there's so many like that, i i just really want more c things to be honest and there's a game that's as part of the experience pack that's free with the uh, the unit which you're in a shark tank and it's kind of like you're just you get to watch the shark fly around you and keep popping in to take a bite out of your shark tank it's gonna be interesting god Damn it. It's going to be interesting to see how many like true games come out. And I can't wait to record them cuz we're going to look real stupid and it's going to be it's going to be real real funny for a few yeah. times. We'll be like, yeah. At least the first couple really times I think we're going to film us while we're also filming yes. the game. Oh, Once that becomes a little bit passé, maybe we'll uh, stick to just the game footage, but still. But we got to record us the first few times just because yeah. it's going to be it's going to be hysterical. Yeah. The problem we're gonna have with that is we gotta figure out how we're gonna do audio. This is YouTube issues, but figure out how to do audio because if you guys, I mean, I watched Jack Septic and Jack Septic has the HTC Vive, which he's been playing a lot of, and his audio suffers because he's not sitting at his desk; he's standing up, moving around his room. Same with Markiplier. I think Markiplier has it too. Uh, his like, you mean his microphone audio? Yeah. Because well, I guess you could get lapel mics. Or he has to, like yeah, that. he has to yell louder though because he's not right next to his microphone. Yeah, that's true. So, it, I mean, it doesn't take away from the video. It's just, as somebody who does content creation, that kind of stuff. Ooh, I thought that hit me. Uh, kind of bugs me a little bit, but there's not real... Fuck! Oh, so not, good. How could I? How could I have done that one? Like, yeah, You don't. You just skip it. <laughs> you just skip it? Yeah. Uh, as somebody who does content creation, that kind of thing, I notice. Like, I watch a lot of the YouTube videos now, just seeing what they do. It's, it's weird. I'm yeah. a weird YouTube watcher. I'm very passive when it comes to things. Like, I'll have stuff on in the background. Background? Yeah. Uh, I'll have stuff on in the background, but then at the same time, like, I will intentively watch some things very... I've never, closely. like, I know there's a generation, like, especially the millennial generation, that can almost watch YouTube like television, which that's is what fascinating I do. to me. That's, that's honestly between... I just have YouTube and I have Netflix are my two primary, and then I use iTunes for, like, uh, Deadly Sketches going, oh, fuck, going on right now. Um, and then, have you ever heard of this show called Border Town? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that show. I haven't seen it's, it yet. It's, uh, it tries the to be... animated one, right? Yeah, it tries to be controversial. Basically, your the concept is these people live in a border town called, uh, Mexifornia, so California and Mexico. <laughs> uh, and it, it deals, I like that it deals with, like, race, issue, race issues, and one of the episodes, early episodes, is about building a wall, um, and whether it should be done and all that, and, like... It deals with really heavy topics, but I think it does it really poorly that I don't feel like... How do you I feel mean like the, poorly? Like, just, it doesn't... It's it, very one-sided. Gotcha. I feel like the agenda is very much like, this side is bad, this side is right, and I don't like A little bias. That. Yeah. Like, I get that the writers... God oh. fucking damn it! <laughs> uh, I feel like the writers have their, uh, have their right to do that, but, like... Personally, if you're gonna do a TV show, I've always I've always been this, and it's the same way like when you do couch conversations. I may not like what was the one we did recently. This is gonna date the episode a little bit, but we had one. Uh, oh, when we did uh, annualization. Like I don't agree with annualization at all. Like I hate it, but I play like devil's advocate and kind of say yeah, but this is why it's done. So I feel like shows should... Which is good. I mean, it's... They should do that. right. There is definitely uh, two sides to most coins. But and whether, whether you agree with it, you should always at least acknowledge it and bring it up and give points of why that side is good. I mean, I love I love the characters in the show. I think it's a really cool concept. I just... But I think in the same stroke, though, either. like, they're... You know, if you're the writer of the show, it's your novel to write. It's your, it's your column, if you will. So... Yeah. 
if you have a particular opinion about something that you want to get across that maybe is unpopular or um, at very least, you know, um, you don't want to tell both sides because you think that one side is ridiculous, then I think yeah. you have the right to do oh, it. I, I'm not saying that. I just... I think Scythe Park does it particularly well, that, like, that bias, because they, you know, usually they're on the side of righteousness for yes. the most part. Yay! We did it! My field 18 minutes! Hold on, we got to show them. So 18 minutes for that one. We're going to the submarine next. You gotta save it. What was the, uh, how long was the level before? Like the one before minutes? was like three minutes, but so I think that the large, that one took 18, a large chunk of that was uh, three, your continual four, death. And four. Definitely God. a jump in difficulty for the minefield. And yes. I think it's a good place to call episode three. Yes. So, what were we talking about? What I was going to ask? Oh, VR. What are, what are you guys? Are you guys excited for? Are you kind of leery about it? Where you, what's your stance on it? We ask you about VR a lot, but let's see. Let's see. Maybe do you feel anything has changed in the realm of VR? Have you seen anything that has made you lean more into the idea of it, or lean out of the idea of it? And how do you feel specifically about the experiences that are not first person in VR, like third person mm -hmm. experiences? Do you think that's a good idea or a bad idea? I think let it's us, a good place to talk. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. And as always, welcome, welcome to, to the, the second, second level. level. Bye. Bye, guys. That was fucking hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks for watching, and remember that these videos go up on a regular schedule. Uh, we have our standard channel videos that are up on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11.30 CT. Uh, and CST, Central Standard C Time. Well, CT is Central Time, is the same thing. <laughs> same Whatever. thing. You know what I'm fucking talking about. And then streaming uh, is Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be Keegan and the stream team. Uh, we have our buddies uh, all there, and you can go and meet those guys, a different part of level two. And then we also have myself joining for the Sunday streams, uh, which uh, are going to be fun every time, because I'm there. <laughs> and you like me, I hope. Uh, join us.